Hi, I'm Shyla Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and today I want to share with you a paper plate sunflower project that you can do with your early learners. We are starting our flowers theme this week, and I wanted to add a new uh, project to our curriculum, and so we are going to do our sunflower, paper sunflowers. Uh, it's very easy to set up. You just need to have plain paper, paper plates, and I use the 9-inch size, but I know there are smaller ones out there if you don't want to use those. These are just the plain papery nut like chinette or some of the stiffer ones on that. We are also using do a dot markers but you can use a regular paint and paintbrush on there if that's what you choose to use. And uh, when you have glue and then we have tissue paper that's been cut in the shape of leaves on here. So one end is a bit pointy and it's a straight edge on the bottom of that. And then we are also using black sunflower seeds for the middle of our paper plate sunflower. So what you would do, I'll move this one out of the way for now, is you would start with your empty paper plate and you would take your do a dot marker or whatever you're using to paint your um, paper plate with and you would just press along or paint. I'm doing this one handed so I'm not going to be able to hang on to my plate on here, but you would just have them fill them all in with the paint all the way around on uh, the plate until it's filled up or as much as they want to put on. I try to encourage them to put as much paint on as they can because that'll make the sunflower um, look a little bit brighter and uh, and so we try to have them look like this once we get all the paint on. If you find that they've gobbed a lot of paint on, especially with the do -a dot markers, uh, you could just use a um, paper towel and then blot off the extra paint on that and that works really well and, and it uh, decreases the amount of drying time for the paper plates and the paint as well. And so once this is somewhat dry, we then take our strips that we've, we've cut ahead of time for this. And for really young children, you may want to help them uh, with the tissue paper. You don't have to use tissue paper, but I like the consistency of it. And then um, the children have to work harder to hang on to it and place it. And I like that for fine motor development. Construction probably, paper would probably work just fine as well with this. And so what they would do is they would take their glue go around the edges of the plate with their glue. I hope you can hear me all right. It's really windy out here today. And here. So they go all the way around their paper plate and then they're going to take their tissue paper leaves that they have or petals and then they're going to stick them on the edge. You want them to be hanging off on the edge up here. Move it so you can see. And they would just go all the way around on there and they go around once and if they have any blank spots then they just add a little more glue. So we're just going to keep putting these around and you would continue that until it's all filled up. Now you see these have gaps and that's the way most children will do it. What we did was we went and put some glue again here and then we just stuck this piece right on top of it. So it kind of gave it a layered look effect on there and looks really nice on that. So once you have all of the petals around your flower, you're going to want to put the sunflower seeds in the middle. And that again you do just by uh, taking your glue bottle, doing dot dots on there. You do a few at a time and then you put the seeds on. Well actually fill in, there's some blank spots in here that could use some filling in too. On here and you take your sunflower seeds that we have just sitting out in a container and then they take the sunflower seeds and press them into the glue. That one was a runaway. There we go. And you do that until it is all filled up to the way um, that they would like that. So some children really like to fill up and add a lot of detail to their projects. Others will maybe put maybe three or four on. So whatever they want to do, you know, that's their choice. Always encourage them to um, do the best that they can. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And also, please sign up for my free weekly newsletter at childcareland.com. And if you like the material and the ideas I present in my videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. For A Paper Plate Sunflower, I'm Shelley Levette with childcareland.com. And thanks for watching.